I wanted to take a look at what we can learn from organizations that didn't hit their fundraising goals or actually raised less by moving to virtual. The first, they made the switch to virtual really last minute. Given the urgency and the challenges that we saw in the first times that we saw with 2020, this is honestly so understandable. But not giving yourself enough time to plan an event if it's virtual can be really detrimental to hitting your fundraising goals. Next thing, they removed a crucial fundraising element. So maybe you've always done a live auction in person, but you pulled the plug for your virtual event. Even when planning your virtual events, it's important to make strategic decisions and considerations around what are going to be the best approaches to moving forward with your event and hitting your fundraising goals. And in the report, too, we actually talk a lot about around what are the fundraising elements that are most popular and most effective for virtual fundraisers from the perspective of our donors that we surveyed, as well as the organizations we talked to. Number three, they feel that their donors were less engaged. So survey donors have told us that event programming and entertainment is like one of the key reasons that they attend an event. So think about that. Like, what can you do to engage your donors? It's a virtual setting. So what are you going to do to make sure that they stay attended and they stay focused throughout the entire event? Have they felt like they didn't have sufficient marketing? Yeah, definitely switching to virtual. It's important to think about your new marketing streams. What are you doing and what's working for you? We have seen organizations use networker or influencer marketing, uh, newsletter, and social media with the most success over the last year. And then lastly, less people attended or it was easier to leave. So give them a reason to stay. That's actually totally in your guys' hands. What are you doing to engage them? What's making it really exciting? What's worth sticking around till the very end for? These five challenges that we saw, they don't actually exist any, anymore. They're all things that we can be proactive about as we think about our events and as we move forward with them. And it also gives us some more opportunities to think about what can we do to not just hit our goals but now surpass them.